All right. It's going to be real brief. All right. And then call all Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, and Bashim Rakal Kadash. All right. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone and peace and blessings to all you brothers pushing the word of truth throughout the four corners of the globe underneath the banner and standard of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. All right, so what you see on the screen right here from the Delhi Mail is from um, this past Friday, March 16, 2018. All right, and America's at it again, man. Okay, what well, is other co cohorts, cohorts? Okay, France, Germany, and the UK and condemning nerve gas attack. Right, and um, look, this is this is nothing new. All right, it's the same thing they did in Syria. Well, it comes from comes from Iraq. All right, the weapons of mass destruction. All right, now they want to get into a, a full fledged war with uh Russia now man okay and what they do they they start a, a smear campaign okay to gain momentum on um reasons for moving in on said attack victim which is Russia man but they got a uh they got a trick game or a trick bag waiting for him, I should say. Okay. And it's all written in the scriptures. We want to get a few of them. Alright. But let me just read the the main points. Okay. Then I'm going to put the, the rest of the article in the uh, description box. It says Trump administration slapped sanctions on five institutions and 19 individuals. Okay. I don't know if I read the headline, but let me read the headline. It said, It looks like the Russians were behind it. White House unveils new sanctions against Putin, focused on his spies and cronies, as Trump joined France, Germany, and the UK in condemning nerve gas attacks. All right. They only putting sanctions on Putin, man, because he's pushing the the death of the American dollar. All right, and he don't know how else to go at him. So they they trump up these uh fake stories, man. All right, saying that it Russia's all behind it. It says Trump administration slapped sanctions on five institutions and 19 individuals. They hit individual individuals charged with the interfering in the 2016 presidential election. President said, looks like Russia was behind attack on Russian spy in Britain. Sergei Skoripal was found slumped over on a park bench along with his daughter. Something that should never ever happen. That's what Trump said on the phone to Theresa May, which is the UK Prime Minister. Stephen Munich, Muchin, also blasted the nefarious attacks emanating, emanating from Russia, Slaki. The president addressed reporters, reporters from over office with the Irish Prime Minister Cross Nations statement called it first defensive use of a nerve agent in Europe since World War Two. Okay, so these are the let's just get it. All right, Matthews twenty four and six.
And it says, And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of war. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. And, you know, that's what we're in right now, man. We're in these, uh, these last days of the last days. All right. Where all these uh, rumors of war have started emitting from every angle now. Okay. And it's only going to get worse. A lot worse. Okay. Because, uh, we're going, man. Whether you believe it or not, to you scoffers, man. This is something that has to uh, go down. And how could they know if if it's really Russia behind it, man? I mean, due to the uh, the past, okay. We know that America will kill its own people in a false flag attack. All right. So that being said, man, who's to say that uh, Britain or America haven't co-conspired together to pull off the uh, the death of this retired British Russian spy? Okay. Just so they can have reason to go into uh or reason to, to fight Russia, alright? Which we know that this is ultimately what they wanna do because Russia has cooked up a lot of schemes, has sold many weapons to people that they didn't want them to have and they have turned uh an ally uh country against <laughs> America, man. All right? So the the Edomites are mad at each other and I want to get that scripture too. Let's just go to it. Revelations 20 and 1. It's lucky that ain't what I wanted. One second. Matthews 12 and 26. Lucky brothers. It says, And if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall then his kingdom stand? And, you know, that's why we see things happening like we're seeing now, man. We're seeing the downfall of this kingdom. And then, you know, ultimately, uh, the, the grip of the world of this kingdom which is Babylon the Great falling down man but if this kingdom goes out then so does the rest of the Edomite kingdoms alright 
never to stand again, pursuant to uh, Obadiah, all right, the 18th verse, all right, because that, that war that they planning on having with each other is going to cause great destruction, so much destruction that, uh, you know, let's just get that. Says in the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau a stubble, and they shall kindle in them and devour them, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord has spoken it. Okay. Let me get the other one that go with that as well, because all that's saying is Esau won't be. Uh, He'll be rooted out, so to speak. Let me get the other scripture, Salaki. Malachi 4 and 1 it says for behold the day cometh that shall burn at an oven and all the proud yea all that do wickedly shall be stubble the day that cometh shall burn them up said the Lord of hosts that it shall leave them neither root nor branch okay so it's not going to leave them anything let me find that one if I can. Second brothers, This is Isaiah 14 and 1. Sorry about that, bro, brothers. It 
says, For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob, and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Verse 21 in Isaiah 14, okay, it says, Prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise, nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities. Okay, so that's what's going to come, man. Even though they want to go to war with this man right here, Putin, okay, it's the end of their, their whole kingdom, all right? When they go to war with this man. That's all Edomite kingdoms. Alright. Because the destruction that it's going to bring. Like I said in Malachi. 4 and 1 man. It's going to be the indignation of the Lord. Which is going to bring them nuclear missiles man. And the nuclear missiles are going to burn up everything man. So it doesn't leave them anything. Okay. But this is just an article that, you know, I was cruising along on the internet and, you know, I seen this and it's pretty much the same uh, scheme that they did on Saddam Hussein, uh, you know, in various other countries, uh, Syria, that the reports have never been filed about uh, the president of Syria gassing his own people which is full of bs all right but this this devil man this devil fighting amongst themselves man that's going to ruin their own kingdom and it's going to be beautiful too man all right so with that i want to say call out you how about shimmy how shy double honors to the elder apostles of great millstone and peace and blessings to all you brothers teaching the truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the globe. Shalom.